All right, for most of you, this has already been done in class, but if you need to sign up for Sight Reading Factory, then I'm going to walk you through that. To register, first of all, you go to sightreadingfactory.com, you go to register. This you do not fill out. Are you a student? Click here. This is where you would go. I would click here and it brings up a student code. I've already used this student code before. I'm going to go here, put redeem. Click I am older than 12. That allows you to put your first and last name in. You fill this out with your email. First and last name, your full first and last name, just like it is on the school records, so that I can match it up with your name at school. Uh, you make up a password, you agree to this, and then you subscribe. If I go to, I already have an account, after you do that, you can log in. And I'm going to log in. This is Jenna's account. Notice her, her first and last name is up here, right? The thing that we're going to use the most is assignments, right? For those of you that just logged on, that just got um, in here, on classes up here, you have to make sure that you are enrolled in the correct class. Jenna's in the Alonzo Choir. So she's going to enroll in this class. She doesn't need to enroll in any, any of the others. Smith, eighth period is here. Smith, short chorus. Smith, sixth grade, that seventh or sixth period, needs to be registered here, enrolled in this. Nobody needs to be enrolled in more than one class. If you're enrolled in the wrong class, make sure you're in the correct class. Assignments, I go up here to assignments. Now, if you're using a phone, you may not have um, all of this across, especially if you're holding your phone vertical. So if you turn your phone sideways, these will pop up and you'll be able to see them, or there'll be a little arrow here for a drop-down menu. So to do an assignment, you go to assignments. You have to go to assignments. You can't go over here to start sight reading. It will not count as your assignment. So go to assignments. Right? These have been done before. This assignment five is not. So I'm going to go to launch assignment. It will ask you to test your microphone. Go ahead and test your microphone. It's going to go through this process. It may ask you for permission to test your microphone or to let this program use your microphone. Right? Then I'll listen to this. It may ask you for permission to test your microphone or to let this program use your microphone, all right? So if it doesn't sound right, you can try it again. If it sounds good, you click here, all right? It will allow you to pick your voice part. If none of this is up here, you go to voice, and you pick your voice part. For sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, most of you are soprano or alto, right? So you would pick, I'm gonna pick soprano, all of these things are already set for you. You don't need to do that. So you would go to assignment. It gives you 60 seconds to look at it. Over here is your fork, gives you your starting pitch. Do. Here is your metronome. So it allows you to know what speed it's gonna be. We're still counting down. So I could read through this. Do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, la, so, 
down there's not a cursor or anything so it's actually recording me right now I would sing it do do re mi fa so and so on when you're done you can hit stop if you mess up you can hit stop and then you would restart it okay so you could do try another, go through that process. When it's done, you can uh, you can make sure that it's submitted. And I'm going to go back here and change one thing here. So I'm going to enroll her in this. Now the assignments, the easier assignments will be here for her. So if I go down here, here's a sixth grade assignment. It's going to ask me to test my microphone again. Hello, testing, 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 and listen. Hello, testing, testing, testing. Testing, sounds good, or you can skip mic check if you've done it before. I'm going to choose my part. I could go back here to voice if it's not there. Pick my voice part, start my assignment. Up here, it allows you to hear your tuning pitch, your starting pitch. Do, it's counting down. As it counts down, you should be working through this. Do, re, mi, mi, fa, mi, re, do, re, re, mi. It's going to count down to zero, and then this is going to click. It's going to give you four counts. One, two, ready, and. Do, re, mi. Mi fa mi re do re re mi fa so so fa mi re mi mi fa so fa mi re do do. It should stop when you're done and it will go to this. You can listen to it. One, two, ready, and. Do, re, mi, mi, fa, mi, re, do, re, re, okay. mi. So you can stop at any time if you like it like i would probably try another one because i had something in my throat in the middle of that went a little bit too fast did some other things so i could try another one or i could submit my assignment if i submit the assignment that sends it to your teacher who is me right so then in that instead of saying launch it should say review you can always go back it will say that you've completed it, but it's late. Right? Then I will grade that. I'll give you feedback. Now, in review, assignments are where you want to be. And do the assignments. If you want to just practice, you can go to Start Sight Reading. You can pick your part. You can go to Voice, Soprano, Alto, Tenor, Bass. You can choose your level. This is for all state. So if you're practicing for all state, there's, these are the levels you want to choose. Everyone else is down here. Generally, 4 4 time. 
Any of these keys would be fine. We've been in F major most of the year. This is going to be more like your assignments. It's set up like your assignments. This is more, it just shows it to you. You can get your starting pitch. You can have a metronome along with it. Do, re, mi, fa. So you can go through that. If you're not sure about it, you can always play the exercise. It will play it along with you. Okay. You can also add your annotations over here. That's do, re, mi. Right? So you would want to go here. You can change it to movable do with la based minor. If you change that, you have to wait until the next one to come up to show your do re mi. As soon as you can get away from having this in here, the better. So um, make sure that as you go through that you're not relying on this to know the solfege for this. So you can do those. You can do assignments. If I go back here to the beginning, it's going to take you to assignments. Again, if you don't see these four tabs, there should be an arrow here for a drop down menu. All right, good luck. And if you have any questions, contact me through Edspeed.